well this here um, it's a um, test circuit that I put together using as the core system an Arduino Mega microcontroller board um, a Hayden Hine encoder and a quadrature converter circuit and a Max 232 TTL to RS232 level converter and what it does simply it it uses the incremental encoder which is a Hayden Hine rod to 426B with a 2500 counts per revolution and this encoder is an incremental encoder outputs its A and V uh, signals to the quadrature converter first it the circuit uses two uh, op-amps to convert that those uh, signals to TTL levels and then those signals are convert are fed to a dual D-type flip-flop circuit and uh, the, the output from that it's an up and down counter so if I turn the encoder uh, clockwise the red LED goes on if I turn it counterclockwise the green LED goes on of course that those are train pulses the Arduino uh, was programmed to react to interrupts coming from that circuit the uh, pins from the circuit are connected to pins 2 and 3 so the Arduino was programmed to respond to interrupts coming from those two wires and depending on which uh, pin uh, the variable inside of the Arduino will increment or decrement and then depending on what um, command it sent to the serial port the Arduino is gonna either zero the encoder value or uh, send you the current encoder value so uh, here is the Arduino uh, sketch so simply put I'm using pins 2 and 3 as the interrupt signal I'm using a variable to store the encoder value I'm setting serial port 1 on the Arduino as the communication port and every time there's an interrupt uh, on encoder on pins 2 and 3 the uh, encoder value will increment or decrement depending on which one is uh, has a transition and another interesting aspect is it is here in the uh, main in the void loop function uh, if uh, the Arduino receives a zero value character then it's going to zero the encoder var value variable it's going to set it to zero and if uh, a P upper or lower case is received the, the Arduino is going to reply with the encoder value, the current count value so um, if I using here hyper terminal and if I request the current value here just uh, zero that sometimes it's hard to So, um, if I request print to value, it's going to send zero. So, I'm going to start rotating this. Um, I'm going to first, uh, if you notice on the hidden height in incremental encoders, some of them, especially in the ROD family, there is a mark here on the body and there's a little mark here on the shaft. So, if you line this two, that is the uh, zero count per revolution uh, signal is gonna come is gonna go uh, is gonna 
have a transition here when these two are aligned. Uh, so I'm going to zero that using hyperterminal. I'm going to send a zero to there. And if I reply, and if I ask, the current position is going to be telling me zero. So I'm going to turn this like quarter half a turn like that. And I'm going to ask, what is the current count value? It's about that. 747 counts. And if I continue like half a turn, more or less there. If I ask, what is the current count value? 1368 counts. If I go back about there, probably it's even less than zero. Okay, there. If I request, what is the current value right now? It's minus two. <laughs> so it's very fine. Uh, the the grid spacing is very fine. So if I go the other way around, quarter of a turn, and if I request what is the current count value? 159. And if I continue that way, there, almost there. If I request what is the current Sorry about that. If I request what is the current, there is 25 minus 25,407. Uh, sorry, 20, 2,547 counts. I can zero it anytime if I sending zero. If I send zero, if I request print, it's going to tell me zero. So it's a uh, It's a nice way to, you know, um, um, so right now the count value after playing around with the shaft, <laughs> if I can zero it right now and then request, it's zero. So it's a very rudimentary way to interact between the, uh, the, the laptop and the circuit. Um, it's basically a zero communication, but I want to expand it further. I have this uh, other circuits like this one here. This got the encoder coupled to a DC motor, and it will be fun to connect an H bridge to the 12 volt DC motor and have the Arduino control the motor to reach certain positions. And then you know have a text-based menu sent by the Arduino requesting what do you want me to do? Send go to this position or zero now or whatever. So that's uh, going to be the next video after this one. And it's about you know playing around with Arduino, doing some programming. And um, well, I would like to thank you for watching.